Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel to a new video. We are happy to announce you our new instructor-led online training on SAP BDP overview and administration from a developer perspective, starting 26th of July. Now, why this course is important specifically for developers? As SAP rapidly transitions to cloud-based solutions, SAP business technology platform like the BDP become the central pillar for building integrating and extending SAP applications. Whether you are an web developer or a UI5 expert or an integration specialist, understanding BTP is no longer optional. Now, what is basically the key highlights from this course? This course gives you an understanding about SAP BTP overview. So we'll start with what is cloud computing? What are the different service models are available? And also give you overview about SAP BTP, BTP's trial account. We'll configure one for you. We'll also set up a global account, sub accounts, directories, entitlements for you. We'll deep drive into different options like creating a space. What is a space quota? What are the configurations on the entitlements level? What are the different type of sub account you can create for different regions, for different providers? What are the importance of that? like the understanding of BTP in one level town. We'll also explore the different BTP services that it may be from the development perspective, it may be from the integration, or it may be from the other perspective. We'll see what are the different services SAP provides. We'll definitely subscribe a few more services to understand how we can subscribe. We'll play with different instances, the different what is the importance of service keys, but that level also we're going to cover it. We'll also understand how can you manage your costing? How can you manage your service plans also? So once you have a very good detailed understanding about SAP BTP, then we'll jump to our main core topics of this course. Like whenever you are developing some product or you're developing some application and that you plan to deploy into SAP BTP, it may be a CAPM based uh, services. It may be a Fury application. It may be an MTA based multi-target application or it may be any HANA cloud or any it may be an ABAP cloud applications that you are developing and deploying into SAP BTP. These are the few basic steps that has to be followed and go through to build a scalable application. So whenever you're developing an application, you have to think how can you upscale that application? I mean, give this application access to a larger audience or a larger audience can jump to the application, how your application will behave. So you have to think about the vertical and horizontal upscaling. So you also need to have an understanding about the security and trust configuration, how the user is going to log into the application, what are the necessary roles are important to provide, or how can you create your custom role so that you can like con configure the application such a way it will be having a complete role-based access control. You also need to think about the transport management. Whenever you are developing an application in your one development sub account. How can you move those applications to your further quality or production sub accounts? So it is very, very important to know about the cloud transport management. And also need to know about the I mean, continuous integration, continuous delivery, like how you can plan your application, go with an agile methodology and follow this CI CD approach. So these are the few core topics we are just highlighting here. There are so many things is detailed uh, going to be discussed, which is there in each and individual topic under the line. When you talk about club and connectivity, we'll try to go give you live example about how will you connect your on-premises system to your SAP BDP or vice versa. How will you configure cloud connector? How will you monitor your cloud services? How will you monitor your service calls that you are making it via cloud connector? If any problem comes, if any sort of an, uh, you know, I mean, I mean, area that you need to debug your application, how will you debug it? So everything you can get to know in live examples and with an hands-on expertise in this course. So this course is specifically for I mean, the developers who are developing application but don't know the next step of development. So what are you waiting for? Enroll this course, which is starting on 26th of July, Saturday. So this course is basically planned two and a half hours each session. It will be around 10 sessions, so 25 hours of course. You'll be getting an access to your uh, SAP uh, server. 
that will be providing to you and the course will be recorded of course the course timing will be 7 32 10 a.m ist so the recordings the materials the hands-on exercise assignments everything will be available lifetime for you so definitely if you are already been part of the zapier family definitely welcome if you are very new to zapier family abroad welcome to join this session it will be really fun and definitely you'll get to know about more detail about sap btp overview administration work for the btp developers perspective thank you so much for your time see you soon